So today we're going to have a look at this little toy here called the Toro Flux. Okay, this is a toy that you could buy for your kids or your grandkids. And uh, it is basically the Taurus Knot geometry that I um, modeled in my software. Okay, it's exactly the same geometry. So um, I have it on a little duster here because I want to show you um, how this thing spins when uh, you let it, when you let gravity take over and it begins to spin. Now I just wanted to show you that when I spin it towards the camera, it wants to spin, it looks counterclockwise, sorry, it looks clockwise from your perspective. But when I spin it the other way, it looks counterclockwise. So when it's coming towards you, it looks like it's spinning clockwise. But when it goes the other way, it looks counterclockwise. Okay, clockwise counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. Okay, so now I'm just going to crunch this up and I'm going to take it off and I'm going to turn it 180 degrees. Okay, so now it's 180 degrees turned around from where it was before. Okay, when I go towards you, it's still clockwise. And when I go away from you, it's clockwise. Sorry, clockwise. Counterclockwise. Clockwise. Counterclockwise. Okay. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to flip this over. Now it's pointing the other way, technically. Um, but now, when I go away from you, it's counterclockwise. Clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. Okay, so you see clockwise. Now, if I'm standing over here, when you see clockwise, I see counterclockwise. Okay, when I see clockwise, you see counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, but you see clockwise. I see clockwise, you see counterclockwise. Okay, this is why we need to come up with a convention. Okay, so convention just means that we all agree on what we're seeing in terms of clockwise and counterclockwise. So I'm going to invent a convention that when I see, when I see this moving towards me, okay, it's going to spin clockwise. And when I see this moving away from me, then I see counterclockwise. So you can't just say clockwise and counterclockwise. You have to say what direction it's moving, and then you can say clockwise, counterclockwise. So, uh, when it's moving away from me, it's going counterclockwise. And when it's moving away from you, it is going counterclockwise. So now we both see the same thing. Okay, now I see it going, going counterclockwise when it's moving away from me, and you see it moving counterclockwise when it's moving away from you. Okay. No matter what, I can turn this around, it's going to be the same thing. And the reason it's the same when I flip it 180 degrees is because this torus knot has chiral symmetry. It's got a special kind of symmetry that you find everywhere in nature. You find it everywhere in nature. And this is why there's a handedness in nature. Okay, so... When, whenever something is coming towards you, it's going to look clockwise. And whenever something is coming towards me, it's going to look clockwise. Right? So, chirality, chirality, sorry, I, I sometimes call it chiral, sometimes chiral. 
I'm pretty sure chiral is the right way of saying it. This is chiral symmetry. Chiral symmetry, which you also see, this kind of symmetry you see in fractals, and you see it in the Mandelbrot set. So this is a special geometry, this torus knot geometry, which you which you see in the ferro cell. This is what you see. You see it, right? You see that in the ferro cell. That is chiral symmetry. That is the universe showing us the chiral symmetry um, in nature. And you see it in the ferro cell, right? Anyways, fun toy. I highly recommend you get yourself one.